Hi, this is William from WMD with the new Multimode VCA module. This video is an overview of its features and functions. Enjoy! The Multimode VCA is a 10 HP dual channel voltage controlled amplifier. Panel controls are designed for maximum functional versatility laid out for quick patching. Intelligent normaling accessed by the two horizontal signal routing switches make this dual VCA very versatile. Modes include dual VCA, pan, crossfade, fade through zero, bipolar VCA, spread pan, and spread crossfade. First, let's look at channel A. Signal input, signal output, and inverted output. CV input, bipolar attenuator, CV will have no effect when the knob is at 12 o'clock. Clockwise rotation gives normal response to CV, counterclockwise will give inverted response. This green LED shows the strength of the CV signal, and this bias knob controls the static gain of the VCA. Channel B's knobs and jacks perform the same as channel A's, but there are normals for channel B. The CV signal input to the CVA jack will appear at CVB if nothing is plugged in. This signal can be attenuated by the CVB knob. The signal input to channel A is also normaled to the NB jack. However, this signal runs through the NB normal switch and can be inverted if desired. Channel B also has a control voltage takeover switch labeled BCV source. When pushed to minus A, the CVB input, CVB knob, and bias B knobs are disabled. Channel B is instead controlled by the inverted CV from channel A. Each channel can be set to linear, down, or exponential response up to CV. The multimode VCA can be AC or DC coupled with this switch here. In DC coupling, any offset will be applied to the output. Invert offset module here applying an offset. And in AC mode, that offset disappears. AC coupling places a high pass filter at the input and output of each VCA section. This causes the frequency response to roll off at 40 Hz. The crossfade slash fade through zero switch controls the operation of linear mode. In crossfade mode, the VCA will only be off with a CV of minus 5 volts. In fade through zero mode, the VCA will be off with a CV of 0 volts. This is useful later when I show the bipolar VCA mode. The saturation slash clean switch enables a nicely voiced soft clipping circuit on both channels. Soft clipping starts at 7 volts peak to peak. The saturation knob controls the intensity of the waveform compression. Dual VCA mode is simple. Each VCA has its own control voltage, input and output signals. Panning mode uses one input and two outputs. Blue cables are left, red are right. A single envelope controls both VCAs with the BCV source switch set to inverted A. Adjust the overall pan with the bias A knob and the pan shift with the CV A knob. Crossfade mode brings two inputs in. Here we have a sine wave and a filtered sawtooth wave. You set BCV source to inverted A. The bias knob will control the crossfade. CV knob controls the strength of the fade, the width. Fade through zero mode is set up the same as crossfade, but with the FTZ switch in that mode. You end up with a dead center, which is very useful for CV and modulations. This is bipolar VCA mode with a single input, the NB normal switched to inverted A signal. The B side VCA has the inverted signal and it's swinging back and forth between the two VCAs, giving you a ramp wave and a sawtooth wave. It can be very fun to mod this with, at audio rates. This is spread pan mode, where CVB is under its own control sharing a control voltage, but you control the parameters. So you can control the amount of panning on the right side individual from the left side. So you can control independently the width. Or 
the level. Spread crossfade is similar to spread pan, but using two inputs and one output. Instead, you monitor from the output A plus B. It gives you control over the level of each signal being crossfaded and the strength of the CV on each one. So this is exactly the same as this, which is B no longer has control. Thank <laughs> you. 